welcome back. I've had a heck of a couple weeks. I've been working a lot. Had stuff on the go on the weekend. Some family stuff to deal with. Haven't had a whole lot of time to do this. My truck got in an accident. Well, it wasn't really an accident. It was a stationary oops. I was visiting my dad in Dover and his neighbor across the street backed up into the front of my truck. You know, old lady, the majority of the community is are retirees and I, uh, it was only a matter of time. I expected something to happen, you know, and who am I to park on the street and uh, expect somebody not to back into it, I guess, because she completely turned it into, into my fault. At noon, I get a knock on the door. Um, she came and she told me, and not a lot of people do that, and which is why I greeted her with the same amount of respect to try and find a solution, assess what happened, find a solution, keep it amongst ourselves, not involve insurance, whatever. But she got absolutely nasty, and it's you know, it's fine, it's fine. Nothing, I you know, I hit the tire, I didn't hit the bumper, it's fine. Okay, well, yeah, you know, there might be some internal damage in the electronic steering rack. We don't really know, so I'm going to take it for a drive and see if it drives straight still. And, I mean, I didn't even get up to highway speed. I just drove around the block, and it seemed fine. But, you know, I, I, I backed it into my dad's driveway because he was out working that day. And i seen it at a different angle. I've seen some body damage in the front bumper. So I, I say to her, like, look at this. Obviously, this is you. And, and, and she just completely, completely turned a 180 and said, no, that wasn't me. That possible that was me. I know I just hit you, but no, that, that, that wasn't me. So your girlfriend came out of the house, started dealing with her. I'm dealing with her. Some nasty words were exchanged. Uh, I essentially told her to get back in her car and make on her way. A little more colorful than that. Got her insurance information, took some pictures. Get out of here, we're done here. And yeah, I sent it, I sent the pictures into uh, my local body guy. He's really, he does really good work. Uh, I'll show you some, some before pictures and some after pictures of what he did and yeah. What an experience. That is the first time something like that's happened to me, so I didn't really know how to deal with it, you know. I, I called the cops, I filed the police report. Nothing was done, obviously, because, you know, she had left the scene. The officer couldn't really assess the scene as is, and not, nothing could be done for her evaluation. Frankly, she should get her license taken away because, I mean, she, it was a Subaru not a Forester, a Subaru, not a Legacy. What was it? It was a Outback, a Subaru Outback. And all she had to do was, as soon as those back tires hit the asphalt, crank the wheel hard right, turn, go, or or vice versa, go. It took a couple, uh, a little over a week to get the truck fixed. He repainted the bumper, he repainted the grill, just cause. Um, you know, we're, we were talking about doing some metal bumpers and stuff like that, you know, switching switch into uh, more of an outdoorsman style bumper uh, and body color matching it and I, I really wanted to go for that look but the more I looked at the shape of the bumper it just it didn't look as aggressive as, as the sport bumper that I have so I stuck with the bumper I have I didn't really feel that off-road bumpers are they're not like on a Jeep they're on a truck it's it's really it's either that big stout weighs the whole front of your pickup truck down, you throw a winch in there and you drive into a tree kind of bumper, or you get that kind of Baja style. And the Baja style, you know, I have to cut cut some kind of bracket that's hanging down uh, off my frame to make it look good. And I mean, no harm, no foul, but I mean, I, I couldn't find a bumper that I was just the bumper with maybe a couple pods. They're all of the ones that I liked had a big, you know, 40 inch light bar adapter or, or 10 cube lights in the center. And I, I didn't want to put a big light bar in the front of the truck. Um, at least not.
not yet. So he just reworked with what I have, and it looks great. The, it was it was great work. I'm really glad that Mark takes care of me the way that he does. Um, you know, it, it's it's too bad that you know you, you go to a body shop and it's always on bad terms. It's like I got in an accident or I caused an accident, and can you salvage my vehicle and make it look like it used to be? So fact that he stayed as true and genuine and, and, and kind as he has been in this business as long as he has is a really high testament to his character. So thanks Mark and uh, you know I'll, I'll be in touch with you soon and I'll come by and say thanks again. still have not come in. I, I changed the address to arrival because uh, I'm working a lot in Anacoke so I'm, I'm just staying with my dad right now. And um, next week we've got the 620 coming in and pretty much going to be MIA next week as well. So front end, it, it looks nice and fresh. No rock chips, no bug grime welded to the front end. And, I really do want to put on a ceramic coat this summer. Chips up the front end. I'm, I'm driving behind a, a 320, 21, 328, whatever BMW. No cats. Oh, just raw fuel. It's great. Maybe he's going to the drag strip today. Who knows? So yeah, yeah. It looks like he's going to the drag strip. He's got exhaust cutouts, and he's got. Uh, Oh Jesus, what is on, oh, big turbo cut out in the hood. What a goofball. I haven't seen something like that in a long time, at least out of, especially out of a BMW. So, yeah, I'll probably just cut it there. There isn't a whole lot else to talk about. I uh, None of my mods are, have come in and yeah, just get those taillights in when they finally come in. I don't, I don't know what's taking them so long. I might, I might call and cancel the order, be honestly, because it's been in processing. Apparently the payment was received after two weeks and then in processing for, you know, another three at this point. So whatever. Yeah. Take it easy guys. Have a good day. So yeah, she backed into the truck and hit the tire and the bumper right about here. The tire pushed in, turned. The wheel liner popped out a little bit, so they replaced the real wheel liner, even though it's perfectly fine. I don't know why they did that, but got a new wheel liner. Um, and the bumper kind of kind of had one of these deals. It went in, but it rippled. It rippled and it rippled and it rippled and it rippled and it stopped about here. And you could see all these lines. Here was just scuffing and there was about a apple size um, spider web cracked the clear coat bit of a pinch but it rippled that was a problem that's why we repainted the whole bumper and uh, you know the, the headlight was fine the fender was fine no body damage no nothing like that but yeah so that's what he's done it's all fixed up all looks mint for better.